Georgia denies mistrial to the defense. Um, this was another issue inside of the murder trial of those, the McMichaels and Brian who killed Ahmaud Aubrey, okay? Uh, attorney Kevin Gall, the attorney, complained last week when Reverend Al Sharpton joined Aubrey's mother and father inside the Glenn County courtroom and said he feared the presence of the parents pastor could influence the jury. Telling the judge, we don't want any more black pastors coming in here, all right? So remember, this guy has been trying to get a mistrial with all of his tactics. And the judge peeped game on this, but here's the new one, here it is. Third parties are influenced in this case. They've been doing it from the gallery in this courtroom. They've been doing it outside. <clears throat> this is why a, a public lynching looks like in the 21st century with all due respect. They don't have to have 10,000 people outside. They don't have to have 100,000 people outside. Perception is reality. We have, we have sealed these jurors off, we hope we have. We have sealed them off and it doesn't matter how many people are outside. It doesn't how violent they, they appear to be. It doesn't take much. Just because they haven't put a, a gallery up, uh, uh, what do you, they haven't put a podium up outside with, with a hangman's noose on it, doesn't mean that this isn't a trial despite the best efforts of this court. <clears throat> This isn't a trial that's been infected by mob violence of a woke left mob. This is what a mob dominated trial looks like in the 21st century. And we're asking for the mistrial. All right, the uh, court, having heard from the move ant as well as the parties, uh, denies the motion for mistrial. Uh, I think. Court's position has been accurately stated previously. I thought appropriate, given the mistrial filed, that um, we have it on the record. Damn shame, but I said this last week. I said this last week. I said, this guy is literally saying these things about he doesn't want black pastors, that he doesn't want Reverend, uh, Reverend Al Sharpton or Reverend Jesse Jackson. And by the way, Jesse Jackson had not even been to that courtroom. Even though he said he had been there, he wanted Jesse Jackson in that courtroom. 200 pastors responded and rightfully so, they should have responded. They should show that community is connected to this trial. I have no issue with that whatsoever, okay? More than 200 pastors gathered on Thursday outside the Glen County Courthouse in coastal Brownsburg, Georgia. Organizers said it was a response to defense attorney Kevin Gall's previous comments that he did not want any more black pastors in the courtroom. And I said this last week on Indisputable. When it happens, when these black preachers go there, and they should, they absolutely should be there. White preachers should be there as well, by the way. When they do, this attorney is going to claim, oh, my client cannot get a fair trial, mistrial. Well, the judge has summarily denied it once again, okay? We clearly see what he's doing. He's setting this trial up for appeal. That is it, and he's hoping that he can get a favorable judge at the appellate level to overturn the conviction that is likely to happen with these killers. Jackson, what are your thoughts? Well, the saddest thing about the antics that we saw him do is that what does, even if there were 10,000 people outside of the church, what does that have to do with the fact that Ahmaud Arbery is no longer alive? You know, what does that have to do with the fact that he was pursued by these two gunmen and murdered for no good reason? You know, so it, absolutely nothing changes the fact that an injustice was taken out and that we routinely see people, you know, in this position, as we were just talking about with Kyle Rittenhouse, get away with things that other groups simply couldn't. So, you know, it's good that the judge was not really, you know, trying to hear it because it was really a desperate attempt that had no basis in reality. And I would argue this was not his most desperate attempt because literally this same attorney made a motion for a mistrial because Ahmaud Aubrey's mother dared to cry inside of the courthouse, okay? He made a motion for dismissal based on that. Mm -hmm. uh, here's how the judge responded to that motion. 
Uh, the judge said, and I quote, at this point, I'm not exactly sure what you're doing. At this point, it's almost as if you're just trying to continue this for purposes other than just bringing it to the court's attention. And I find that objectionable from the court standpoint. You see, the judge has peeped the game that this attorney is playing inside of his courtroom. But see, the judge should have done something when he peeped the first game. Remember Jackson, the first game was when the judge even acknowledged that him striking 12, excuse me, 11 of the 12 remaining qualified black jury members, that when he struck 11 of the 12, the judge even said, it looks discriminatory. Yeah, I mean, how could it not? <laughs> you know, let's get rid of all of them but one. Just, just keep right. one. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's quite insane.